I guess I can say I'm not really an expert, but these sunflowers don't seem to look ready. But I've come to know that once the bird starts eating it, you can take one of these seeds off and if you pop it open and there's a seed, it should be ready. And then you could just dry it on the side. I just took a seed and let me show you. And there's a seed. So at this point, the whole temperature and everything's changing in my area. Um, it's a little warm, not too bad. And uh, everything's pretty much, it gets pretty cold at night now. So I'm just gonna start harvesting the sunflowers that I see that are getting eaten and then uh, I'm gonna let them dry out the seeds on this one look a little more dry compared to that one I guess the birds haven't really found out that this one's ready so I'm just gonna harvest it right now as well Now that I'm here, we've been kind of we've been kind of like grabbing some cucumbers off this plant and just eating it while we're out here. So might as well find one that is good to probably like take home to my mom. That way she can eat some. Oh, here's a good one. Got a little cucumber here. There is some pretty big cucumbers. I'll give you a close up. It's a big cucumber there. It's a big cucumber under there. It's a big one over there. And I'm leaving those for seed. And here we got some uh, some of the bean plants. They're loaded with beans, my right, green beans. Uh, normally, a green bean you harvest before they have the bumps. I sometimes like to harvest the green beans just a little in between where it, you can barely see the bumps and then every once in a while I'll get one with bumps like this one's a good one I like to harvest them like this because it cooks and then when you do like a like a hotes con chile or something like you'll have the little white beans come out and I like that but I haven't harvested any beans from any of my bean plants because I'm leaving it for seed. So all this, all this is beans. There's a little watermelon growing, but all this here is beans. And like I said, they're loaded. I mean loaded with green beans, just everywhere. Like all these have green beans. Uh, the ones I planted late so I could get some more green beans. They're, I don't think they're gonna make it through the cold, but like all these are just full, full. Like here, there's like a good couple of handfuls on this just one plant of green beans. And it was weird because my brother was telling me like, oh, how are your beans doing out there? Cause um, you planted like a little early or like you planted way early or you planted off schedule. And then he came and saw him. He's just like, those are the beans? And I'm like, yeah, those are the beans. He's like, they got massive leaves. Like, because these beans only have, like, very, very small leaves. Like, they'll end up growing leaves like this. Compared to them growing leaves like that. So, yeah, so my brother was just so crazy about it like hey how come your leaves are so big and I'm just like temperature water area I don't know they have been getting quite a bit of water here 
Every time I water the corn, these get the same thing. Uh, they didn't look too good at the beginning, but they just did so well here. And uh, like I said, all these are loaded, loaded with be green beans. Um, but some of the beans are are ending to their final cycle. Some of the some of the bean pods are getting yellow. Here, I'll show you one. See, the bean pods are getting yellow, and this one's not gonna. This one's not gonna dry out because I already opened it. But you can see the beans right there. So the whole thing about me growing these beans is for seed. Otherwise, these beans would have looked different. Um, usually I plant a, a load of beans and then I'll take out I'll plant about four to about six seeds, depending on what falls out of my palm in a hole, and they pretty much spread out. And then they'll end up growing in like in a bunch. And so then I'll go and thin them out. I'll take out, you know, um, and that's just for like, I don't know, they just seem to, they just seem to hatch better compared to if you just plant one seed per hole. Like they just all hatch and they just do better and they protect themselves and they grow but as they grow you take out which ones you don't want and then you end up leaving like two to three uh, plants and they bush out and what i like to do is as they start vining out i usually cut the vines off and so they just stay bushy that way it's easier to harvest the green beans i didn't do that this year you'll see that next year um, but the whole point of me doing this is seed because my seed that my uncle gave me and I've been like planting it every year every year every year just been doing it um, I tried it last year here it didn't do too well I tried it earlier in the spring it didn't do too well until I eventually got the water up and running that's when all this did well um, so I'm kind of low on seed on that so that's my whole point of having this because then I can have this as my next year's seed um, you know, with the corn, same thing. I'm trying to like get some more seed off of it. Um, I'm not running low on the corn, but it's always good to have some fresh seed in the mix. Uh, that's what I like to do. Uh, I got some good ears in there, a good couple ears in there. They, they seem pretty good. So, um, and I'm glad I planted like two weeks earlier this year. Last year I planted a month late from when I'm supposed to plant the corn. This year I planted two weeks earlier and it's doing phenomenal. Um, I'm 5'9", so I'm guessing this is probably like an eight footer and the one behind it, I don't know if you can see, let me move the camera a little bit. Yeah, so if you can see me, you can probably see like my face, top of my head here. I'm 5'9", uh, this is probably like an eight footer and then the one behind it, the tall one, let me see if I can move it for you. That one's about 10, 12 feet. So, corn is just loving it out here. Um, they're just, it's just doing great. And I want to thank some local farmers from uh, Tucson. Uh, they're the ones that handed me this seed. They trusted me with this seed as my uncle trusted me with his beans. It's like, hey, these beans have been in the family. I'll touch on to the story. Um, the story goes that somehow they, they, they acquired the seed and they've been they've been farming that seed at the ranch for some generations and then none of the brothers of my grandma did anything with gardening and ranching and farming um, they did cattle ranching there's a whole uh, story behind it and everything of the like the ranch and the cattle ranch and what happened to their family but like none of them took on that and he did my uncle did he's uh, he's my dad's uncle so none of, none of them like took on that inheritance of them growing and farming and my uncle did and then uh, one day like I met him before but then one day I went when I was like around in high school and we had the garden going out in the back at my parents house uh, and he found out like oh you're growing food like you're gardening like yeah I'm trying all this stuff 
you know, we're growing tomatoes, we're growing chilies, watermelons, we're trying to grow all this stuff. And that's what my uncle was like, here's the family seed. And he gave it to me. And that's what this beans is at. So it's kind of like the same thing with like the corn here. Like here's that corn seed. So I take very good care of it and I love it. I love this seed. So back to the whole point of this thing is the whole point of me growing stuff right now is I'm testing the waters. I'm testing what I can grow, what I cannot grow, what's doing well. And I'm actually trying to store seed to where it starts to climatize to this certain area, just this area. I still have the original seed I got for the corn. I do not have the original seed I got from the beans because the beans is kind of like you plant, you grow, and then you grow and you eat and you save a little bag and then you plant next year. That's kind of been the process. And then the corn, I kind of just used a little bit off the ears and I kind of just started making seed from that. So I still got a little bit from the original seed I got off the corn. And now that I got two fields clear, I want to just like plow it uh, with my, my new tiller and just plant as much as I can and actually just start harvesting, not monocropping it, harvesting to the point where like I'll start freezing, I'll start canning, I'll start just basically stacking up my food supply. And that's kind of what I want to do. But just to cut this right now and before I keep blabbering on, uh, thank you for joining us on this episode where I show you a little bit, uh, a little update on what's going on with field one and me harvesting a little bit there. Uh, so please comment, like, subscribe. If you don't like something, let us know. Ask questions and we'll get back to you. Thank you.